Jason, you love eggnog. You always have, right? Yeah, yeah. Eggnog uh, was definitely a big hit in our family. And I think one of the misconceptions of eggnog is that it has, a, has raw egg in it. And it actually doesn't have to. The base recipe has cooked egg yolks in it in the form of a loose custard that's bound by those egg yolks in milk. So that's sort of the, the, the principle what, what a great eggnog is. But you can do so many different things with it. And I thought what we could do today is make a base recipe that's super versatile and then we can do something for the kids, we can do something for the adults that uses the whipped egg whites, which we'll do at the end, but we'll do those separately. Uh, and then finally, something that we all sort of like this time of year and certainly sells well in coffee shops, and that is an eggnog latte or an eggnog with espresso or something like that, so yeah. a breakfast version. I definitely have eggnog in my coffee. Right now. Yeah, exactly. So the, the simplest thing we're going to do is we're going to start with three and a half cups of whole milk. And we're going to put it in the pot and scald the milk. Do not boil it, just scald it until it starts to, to gently steam. So Jason, have you ever separated an egg? Never. Never. Okay. When you're doing a single egg, you've often seen people crack it, have two halves of the shell pour it back yeah. and forth, but drops have. That's, that's fine for one egg. Uh, we, won't, we don't want any whites in our custard. So that's the first thing. And a cleaner way to do uh, egg separation, especially when you're doing multiple eggs, like the half a dozen we're going to do now, is to crack all of the whole eggs into one bowl and then go in with your fingers and gently lift out the yolk, allowing the uh, albumin to fall through. And the, the next thing you do is sort of give it a little shake and then pinch it off. And what that does is you get the perfectly clean yolk with no whites on it. So we're going to do that for all. And then we're going to reserve those uh, whites, put them in the fridge, and we'll whisk them later for our adult cocktail. So now, Jason, what we're going to do, we have six egg yolks. We've got a cup of sugar. And we are going to whisk these together uh, two tablespoons at a time or so until everything gets nice and light and airy. And we get to the ribbon stage, and then we know we're finished. It is done. One of the most beautiful things about cooking with eggs is whisking them to the ribbon stage. I just love the way that looks. Yeah, Christmassy. Very Christmassy. So, Jason, now we have to really be careful with this because we don't want to curdle these eggs. We're going to do something called tempering, which is moving about a third of the quantity of scalded milk into here gently, whisking it together. Then it becomes a custard. So then we move that back into the pot and we gently cook it all together. So the way we're going to do that is... Take that out. We can turn off the heat now. And we are going to start to add our milk into this very, very gently. And it will start to loosen up. It's starting to look that beautiful golden color. You're right, yeah. So as because we're doing this gradually, it won't thicken until we add a little bit more heat. At this point, it's loosening everything up. But we're not curdling the eggs, and that's really the key to this step. Now, we have maybe one or two more ladles to go in, and then we can move this into the pot. There we are. And into the pot, this will go. Okay, so Jason, now we're going to do the fun stuff, and that's to pack this with flavor, all those Christmassy flavors and aromas that you know eggnog to be. And my version has one or two that may not be in a classic recipe, but I really like the way it works. First thing, three sticks of cinnamon, two star anise pods, quarter teaspoon of ground clove, a tablespoon of ground ginger, about two teaspoons of pure vanilla extract, and one grated full nut of nutmeg. Last but not least, a couple of grindings of salt, just a pinch. Now this simmers gently, ever so gently, for about 10 minutes. And you have to be very careful. 
watch this the entire time, stir it the entire time, and treat it like it is precious, because at this point it is precious. We do not want to curdle those egg yolks. So here we are about 10 minutes later, Jason, and if you have a look at this, we have this lovely thickened eggnog, base eggnog, and it holds that line. Mm, lots of beautiful flavor there. So we are ready to go, and we're going to strain this into a bowl within a bowl of ice. We want to cool this custard down as m quickly as we possibly can, and this is the best way to achieve that. Now some of that spice might come out. And you'll notice that this is not a yellow color. It's more of a, uh, a spiky brown. And that's all that beautiful fresh spice that we put in there as opposed to maybe store-bought eggnog that uses uh, liquid essence spices that don't discolor it. Uh, but this to me is a lot fresher and a lot nicer. And some of that spice will actually get strained out during this process. This will uh, take, eh, it, it, it'll be really cool in a couple of hours, but what we're doing right now is quickly cooling this or shocking it uh, with this ice. And as you can see, you can see we strained a lot of the, uh, the spices out, which is great, but they've been fused into that. And now we're going to use a spatula, and we're gently moving that around against the wall of the bowl where it's touching the ice water, and that as you do this motion will cool this very very quickly and this would be a practice that you would do with any any custard would be done this way or cooled in this way and once you get that really hotness out of it we'll, we'll put it in the fridge and chill it completely and this is our base eggnog except for this last indulgence which is a half a cup of heavy cream and that will also thicken it but it'll give it that luscious special mouthfeel that you sort of want with a great eggnog. So here we are, Jason. We have our beautiful finished eggnog. It's been chilled now in the fridge for a little while. And I'm going to show you three ways that you can serve this. Uh, that beautiful, versatile recipe that we had, the traditional eggnog would use the whites uh, whipped with a touch of sugar to stiff peaks, and then you fold it into the nog. And the end result is a very frothy, creamy, more classic eggnog. This is a great way to serve it with some dark rum on ice. And you can see here how beautiful that looks, right to the top. So that is for you and your loving wife in front of the tree. Now, our second presentation is going to be for the kids. Now I'm going to step out very, very quickly and grab a nice big scoop of chocolate peppermint ice cream. And here we go. How about this? We're going to start off with a nice big glug of our base recipe. Remember, there are no raw eggs in this. There are, uh, there's no alcohol in this, but it's beautiful and flavorful. We'll finish that off right to the top with our ice cream. Whoa, is it gonna come out? I don't know, but even if it makes a mess, it's okay. Ah, they, that's for dramatic would, effect. They would handle it. They would handle it. Last but not least, here's your morning coffee, Jason, tomorrow. Here's that, you can warm this up or you don't have to warm it up. Do as much as you like. You can go half and half, or you can do stiffer on the coffee, but here's a double espresso right at the top, and that finishes off your morning coffee. So there are three separate ways to do this. A little bit of nutmeg on each and every one of them is a great way to garnish it up. How's that for eggnog? Love it. Listen, I think we should drink one of these. I, want and the kids one. I was going to say I want the kids one. Okay, if I have to. I'll take the add-on. Cheers and Merry Christmas, bro. Merry Christmas.